Hello guys, and welcome back to another Jonah Central video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own displacement maps. Anyways, let's get right into it. Start off by deleting the cube and adding in a plane. Now if you go into edit mode and give it a bunch of subdivisions, you can then go to sculpting to sculpt your displacement. If you're having trouble seeing what you're doing, if you open viewport shading, you can change the matte cap, matte cap type to something where it's easier to see, such as the studio light red. Awesome! Now as you can see, I got a face right here. Now to give it some extra detail, otherwise it's going to look blocky, add a subdivision surface and t change viewport up to something high, like 3. You can then click apply, and then shade smooth. Now I want to give this face a cone nose, so I will add in a cone, scale it down, and move it and position it properly on this face. Awesome, I can add shade smooth. Now we're going to actually start making the different luminosity value for the height. So to start, start that off, select each part of your displacement map and press Ctrl J to combine them together, or join them. Awesome! Now go to shading and create a new material. Delete the principled BSDF and add an emission shader. Now Add in a separate XYZ node and plug the Z of the separate into the strength of emission. Now, as you can see, it's black right now, but if you add in a geometry node, let me just do that real quick, and plug the position of the geometry node into the vector, as you can see, it's starting to actually look like a displacement map. Now, you can mess around with the displacement settings and luminosity settings by adding a mapping node in between the, the geometry node and separate XYZ. We're adding in a color ramp in between the separate XYZ and the emission or math nodes or whatever comes to mind. I'm going to mess around with the mapping node settings to make the displacement map look a bit more of what I'm looking for. There, that looks about good. Now go to Layout, press 7 on the numpad, and then Control alt 0 to move the camera on top of the plane. Make sure the camera is centered on the Y and X axis, and in my case it is, make sure it is in yours. Now to set up the camera to render your displacement map, change the type from Perspective to Orthographic, and change the Orthographic Scale to 2. Now, the proper aspect ratio is obviously square. So in this case, I'm going to make a 4K one by cl clicking these three dots right here, clicking the 4K UHD TV, and then changing the Y resolution to the same as X. In this case, it is 3840. There, now we got a perfect square that fits our plane. Now as you can see, because of subdividing, these corners have become rounded off. So a good way to fix that is by making the background black, so it fades with your displacement map properly. Otherwise, when subdividing, you need to be a bit careful with the corners, maybe extrude it out a bit. Just make sure you don't have these rounded off corners, because that'll ruin it if you're planning on tiling your displacement map. But now as you can see, we have got a displacement map. Now if I go back to camera view, um, it looks good. So now feel free to change the sampling to something better like 200 and rendering it. Awesome. Now you can go image, save as, and save it to a file location. Awesome. Now to use this displacement map, create a new file, delete the default cube, and add in a plane. Now if you go to the shading workspace and create a new material, add in a bump node and plug the normal of that bump node into the normal of the principled BSDF. 
Now if you add in an image texture, and you open up the displacement map you just made, you can plug the color of the image texture into the height of the bump node, and if you go into rendered mode and bring this light down, you can really see your height map getting used. Now sometimes it does create weird artifacts like this. I don't really know how to fix this, but it doesn't really matter because you're usually going to turn the strength down. Otherwise, I think it's all about how much samples you use, so it might help to render in cycles or use a denoiser. We're even going to compositing and blurring the image. But that is how you make your own displacement map. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope this helps out for one of your future projects, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Adios. Okay, see you guys later, thank you for watching.